Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing well and welcome back. Let's play some more EU4 as uh, the uh, Samurai Pirates. Check this out. Look at that skin. Goodness gracious, that's so beautiful. I love it. This is what a Samurai Pirate looks like. So, we are going to uh, we'll just let this army build up, um, admittedly. So we're up to 31 transports, so we're good. We can go ahead and, head and have these guys go down and join up with the privateering fleet. And uh, probably don't need that heavy in there, but we'll leave them just for good measure. We're just waiting on the cannons. We're so rich right now. Yeah, we're very rich right now. Look at this. Yep, we'll be at 30 and we'll actually be able to have the whole fleet transporting at once. So we're going to have you guys come on down. There you go, speed 5 is fine. Just gonna land, or we're gonna get it within range. Let me set my timer here, there we go. You guys are gonna get that beautiful war deck for the conquest. We're going to immediately kill off your one light ship that you're protecting. And we are going to land some men. There's nothing you can do about it. This land is my land. Um, I think I'm just gonna, just gonna do this. I know I talked about it, I, I need to just do it, it's fine. Um, I don't really have a useful place to steer from. I suppose if I, I would probably make more money by collecting here and having these guys. All right, we can totally raid right now. Let's go ahead and have our, this fleet do their, do their thing. This is just so beautiful. All this raiding is going to be just happening over time. Like, we are about to get so filthy rich off of this. And these are all, like, war enemies as well. So they're getting so devastated from this. <laughs> That's crazy, actually. Too far away, feels bad. Not too far away, doesn't feel bad. Oh, so good, man. A little bit of attrition never killed anybody, you know? Though I do need to probably get my sh fleets into a uh, harbor and let them heal up. So crazy how much money we're making from this. Hmm. I would probably, I'll probably want to separate piece everybody out so I can actually take this island. I need to start working my way down into the Philippines. Because there's a lot of really good land to take here. Um, but I'm also gaining a lot from not, from having them be available to raid. So it's kind of like, I don't know. We're not taking any attrition right there. So I don't feel too bad leaving my, my guys sitting there for a moment while we're raiding everybody. Like, look at all this devastation. That's so nuts, actually. The devastation map mode is just so, like... It hurts so bad for me to see that on them. I'm like, man, better them than me. Alright, cool. Let's just keep on going. Almost done with our rounds. Beautiful. good okay so let's um have you guys protecting trade in malacca for a moment we just gained like 1500 ducats um i'll build a i'll build that guy there um we might as well get a little bit extra trade power here it's not gonna hurt us and then um we probably should build some castles in these areas. Um, yeah, building a castle here makes sense. Building a castle here makes sense. Mm, here, not so much. But these two definitely make sense. Because this one's going to be... We're going to end up taking Borneo. Borneo is going to be ours. No, chance, no doubt about that. Um...
We're not hurting for sailors, so that's good. Cool. I guess we can wait now. So all I want is this. Palembang isn't in the war. Oh, actually I could take this this one as well. And I will. This will actually be really good. And we'll be able to take his uh Is this grasslands? Jungle. Yeah, probably not would rather not. Their capital is jungle. Interesting. Hmm. This dude's got claims on everything. Malacca. Very good. Years of Separatism is going to be really good for keeping unrest down in newly conquered islands, so it's a good thing to have for sure. It's basically, it's five years. Damn it. Excuse me. It's five years of less unrest, which is super good. Okay. Same thing. Probably should, uh not have everybody over there. Uh, I think we should probably still want to keep uh, the early Republican tradition. It's going to be good for us. So as far as gaining, we are not gaining by uh, having you guys protecting here. So let's go ahead and forgot about these ones up here. There we go. Go ahead and have you guys privateering in uh, Malacca with our Admiral. There we go. Beautiful. Let's actually go ahead and switch you over there for a moment while we wipe out their fleet. It's uh, mostly heavies actually, heavies and heavies and lights. Somehow they didn't lose any. It doesn't seem right, but that's okay. Let's actually have you guys just come on over here for a moment and see if they're gonna want to try to act the fool and try to get in on that to take that back. Goods produced is super good. Okay. Let's just have one little dude run over there and try to uh, see if we can get on that because if we can occupy this island we want to take it for sure we want to take all of them well eventually we'll take all of the islands but for now i want to take this island right that sounds like the fun one to do right now unfortunately the attrition we got to it so we hope hopefully it can last one month they're not really putting up a fight come on now reinforce brother i'm gonna get stack wiped crap get another guy over there should have sent two that's a my that's a misplay on my end okay come on now they'll be landing any day now beautiful come on come on there we go they will now occupy that and i'll just take both of them it's gonna be good cool beautiful Take whatever money we can from you. Let's actually go ahead and blockade you. So we're at war with all these guys. Like, there's no reason to not blockade them. And they're attacking me. Sons of guns. Okay. You guys don't want to blockade? go okay beautiful all right now we'll take whatever we can money wise from you there we go these are our two little islands now and uh, those years of separatism are gonna help out a lot um, I don't care about autonomy so they don't need to have any men on them so that's great and uh, Actually have some spy networks so we can get some claims on these guys but i'll never end up using them but might as well right do want to build claims on these guys um Asai and palembang okay so let's go ahead and get all of our navies grouped up very good 
Get everybody right here. So let's get you guys down there. Let's go ahead and have you guys split and have you guys shuffle split. There we go. Even out. Okay. So slowly but surely expanding our reaches. There we go. Let's go ahead and put you guys away so you're not using up sailors for no reason. What's going on here again? Oh, the building the castle. Right. That'll be really good. Now, I want uh, I want um, Brunei to be a, a re um, what's it called? A dude who hates me. A rival? Yeah, a rival. Right. I want him to be a rival, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Let's go ahead and get this, this province. Where is it at? Where is that province? Up here? Yeah. Go ahead and take that tech. Still pretty far behind as well. Um, yeah, we're gonna need to dev it eventually. Um, probably like right here makes sense, right? Because we got Kyoto right here, and then it will eventually spread down here. So this is 37, man. Local dev cost minus 5%. Don't want to fall behind on tech. Definitely not. So admin we're already going to fall behind on. I don't know, man. Still have big PP, which is good. So these forts are all done. Uh, more than likely, I'll actually just get the claim on like one province. Brunei's a 26 dev. So let's go ahead and take it. And then um, who all... Oh my gosh, can't figure out what button to press. Sulu, I don't care about. Palembang, don't care about. Pasai, still don't really care about. And Luwu is over here, don't care at all about. Huh. Would we be able to full annex him? No, we would not. But we certainly could cause them some damage. Let's go ahead and get this out here. We'll have you guys all group up over here in Pontiac. Pon I always want to call it Pontiac. I don't know. That's I don't think that's what it is. Um, let's go ahead and make the declaration. So they have a lot of men, um, but I don't think it's going to really translate into much because they're not going to be able to get those men onto any of my lands. Um, so let's just rush on up and see if we can siege down Brunei. They're just suiciding into my men. I'll just go ahead and have you guys privateer in Malacca. We own 47% of the trade there, so it's pretty good. No, no, no. There we go. This is what we want. There we go, something like that. Leave behind a few, so that way we can get a blockade going. Is this Inland Seas? This is not Inland Seas. So we actually need some heavies down here for sure. But we also have lights, so on the flip side, we kind of don't really need them, but it's more of like a it would be nice kind of deal. So we are on 10, 11, 12. These guys are 10, 13, 11, 11, 13, 12. So these guys are both doing pretty good as far as technology goes, which is not too hot for us, but um, it's fine. We're gonna need to start letting our um, our stuff drop, but we're not gonna do it. Or Republican tradition, but we're not gonna do it with a 53 year old. We got seven heavies over there, which is not nothing, man. It's not nothing. We're still under a naval force limit, which is just nuts to me, honestly. Okay, hopefully we win at this tick. There we go. Um, I'm just gonna send one galley here to protect that fleet. Let's see here, can we knock them out? Oh yeah. We'll lose a couple, but it shouldn't be an issue. There we 
go. Let's come on down here. They took that one galley out, but that doesn't matter because we'll uh, steal all the ships to make it worth our while. So let's go ahead and come on down here. Kill you guys off. Mmm, very good. Okay. So does Brunei have a big army? They do somewhere. I probably shouldn't have these guys separated, but it's all good. Let's go ahead and have them blockade up here. Not sure what kind of dev they have up here, but it doesn't look like it's much, so it's fine. Plus we have all of our cannons up there, so it's not a big deal. All right, things are going quite well, quite well. Um, 3,000 ducats and we get some stuff I don't really care about. Army of the size of force limit, we get discipline, that'd be nice. This one will also be nice once we get into uh, absolutism. Okay, looks like they are attacking me up here with some heavies. Maybe not. Let's go ahead and get these guys attacked over here. Stealing all those heavies. Feels so good, man. Ah, uh, we didn't even get the repair tick. That does not feel good, man. So we got a wall breach, which is pretty nice. Let's get you guys up here to reinforce just in case. Just at the very, in the very case. Diplotech cost is nice. Right. Can we win a 42%? We did. I don't believe it for a moment. So we want to take something like... Is this really all one state? Wow. That is quite quite a good state. Oh, well, that's a lot of AE. Oh my gosh. Okay, never mind. Um, Something like this? That's still a ton. Damn, dude. So, what's the difference? Ligor and Keda? Keda would still join. I guess, do I really need to worry about these guys? Because if I'm only on islands, as long as I have naval dominance, I don't need to worry about them landing men. Hmm. Do I care? Kind of don't. All things considered, I really don't that much. Right, let's let's defend here against these rebels. Gain an admiral with 50 tradition. Let's go ahead and gain an admiral with 50 tradition. Where's he at? Not bad. Let's go ahead and have these guys have our dude and have these guys have our other dude. Go ahead and start blockading people. Definitely gonna need to do that. I actually don't know where his army is. Oh, there it is. I spoke too soon. If they want to sit on that fort, they can. Be my guests. Two population. Mahi. So we now have uh, permanent claims on all this stuff as well. So, um, should probably get to work on grabbing that, huh? I kind of want to start working my way over into Australia. What is this? Isn't this Colonial Australia? It's not. I could have sworn that this was te this I this area over here was technically Australia. Am I making that up? Hmm. Let's go ahead and send the colonist. Expel the Ainu. Let's go ahead and just send a regular colonist. We're gonna wanna take these guys out. Beautiful. Oh, I love killing enemy fleets. Look at that, 16 to 10. Good. Let's get you guys down here. And then we will get everybody grouped up because this is his return province, so he's not going to be able to run up that way. 
He got a disease outbreak over here. He's actually taking a ton of attrition because of, uh, what's it called? Monsoon, so. Nope, we'll run down this way. This is too easy, man. He doesn't stand a chance. He's dying to attrition, man. He can't even hang. A couple of rebels, or not rebels, natives popping up. Want to want to tussle? More rebels popping up. Want to tussle? This is defensive terrain, or it's a jungle. So here we go. Cool. So now we can get this piece we're looking for. Okay. Yeah, I will certainly take this. Japanese Indonesia, just the way Hirohito would have wanted it. Um, I will go ahead and sort by overextension. We're gonna end up needing to core all this. So there should be some unrest over here probably. Yeah. I'm not actually gonna decrease the autonomy over here because these sorts of states are gonna be pretty good to have. So I'm gonna just have you guys suppress these rebels here. There we go. Now we're just going to have to hold off and let things simmer for a moment. It's going to take us some time to uh, get everything sorted out with that. I am really starting to fall behind on admin, so let's go ahead and go with an admin guy. Hopefully he's younger. Nope, he's not. Idea cost is good, though. That'll be relevant right now in, in the here and now. So Let's have you guys go ahead and privateer in Malacca. And then let's have you guys... Do we want all five of those? Not really, but I'm not going to get rid of them. It's worth having them. Okay, very good. Now, I do need to be aware, though, that once these this truce is up, we're probably going to start seeing some... Uh, what's it called? Uh, coalitions forming. Hey man, you have a, a center of train here. You should upgrade that. No. I don't care. Let's do this. I definitely want to get that pirate horde. That would be a nice one, but uh, let's see here. I definitely don't need these guys up here. Let's go ahead and turn those off. Probably don't need this guy here, right? Let's go ahead and get rid of that one. No point in pay paying for it, right? Okay, so we are starting to slowly expand our reach. When will we be able to raid again? 70? 70? 70. 70. Uh, not too far off. Truce with you is over. Keen. Who's Keen? Right here. Hmm. I feel like I could probably justify a trade conflict about them pretty easy. Punch them for some money. Let's go ahead and have you guys like split in half roughly. Definitely don't want all these heavies over here though. These are just heavies that I captured from other... Okay, I also don't want you guys there. Let's have you guys go ahead up and protect trade in uh, Anton. Have you guys head over there as well. Okay. Should it be a uh, building spy network as well? Yeah, we're not really losing money. We're good. Get everything cored up though. Naval reformer is dead. Trade economy is, or trade income is fine. Trade power. Manpower recovery and institution spread. That's pretty good. Both of those are pretty good, honestly. Global settler increase in colonial range, so it's pretty good. Somebody had, and we'd had a conversation in our comments about this. Is Australia an island? In the definition of the word, yes, it's an island. It's a large landmass that is an island, but uh, I'm going to call it an island. And we're going to colonize it, and we're going to have a colonial Japan. It's going to be fine. It would probably be smart for us to actually move our capital there, but I don't really know how to do that, and I'm not really interested in doing any exploity stuff, so we're just going to go with it. <clears throat> as soon as this uh, cores up, this, will, this unrest will go down quite a bit.
Local tax, that's all fine and dandy. Let's go ahead and justify that trade conflict here. Are you guys not protecting trade? What? 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 Oh, they need 20%. So I have too much? Is that what that says? Yeah. So let's go ahead and send like... Like half of you guys back down to privateer in Malacca. And have half of you guys come over here to protect trade in uh, Canton. It's because of these freaking this war going on with Diviet. Yeah, he's losing a bunch of trade down here to Diviet. Ah, eh, whatever. Don't care. Hmm. I should probably get down into Kilwa, start working my way over here. Uh, the sooner we can make our way around into this area over here, the better. We're going to want to make sure we are starting to expand our tendrils into there, but we're going to have to wait for these Brunei Separatists to fire because they're going to fire, and uh, we want to be ready for that when the, when the time comes, so. Okay. I kind of want to be able to just do this now. I guess I could just fabricate a claim on him. Punch him for some money eventually. Let's go ahead and recall you. I will get a claim on that one there. 20 damn. Dude, they have so much. That's crazy. All right, let's build some spy network over here. Do you have any allies? So you actually have no allies, so this would be a better one than we could attack Kilwa from there. Cool. All right, well, I hope you guys are enjoying, and if you are, please show your support and leave a like. It helps the channel out a ton. I really appreciate it personally, and uh, if you want to subscribe, you can do that, as well as if you uh, would like to check out the Discord or support the channel via our Patreon page. The links for all of those things are going to be in the description down below. We're going raiding. And uh, with all of that being said, this is Chewy Shoe, and I will catch you guys later. A big special thanks to Bloodbound92, Valentel, CWG, Dutch Terror, J Clampett, Yadaldo, Classified for Life, Corbett Gaming, Michael Walker, Palmer, Jonathan Crane, Airborne Animal, and all my other awesome supporters on Patreon. I appreciate you guys. Check out the two series linked on the left and the right, and don't forget to subscribe.